Hi foodies, I love a really good soup and this is one of my favorites, red peas soup. You can do this when it's cold outside or when you want to feed a lot of people. Let's get into it. So for the red pea soup, usually we use salted beef or salted pork. I'm using salted pig's tail. I washed it with lime and cold water and then I drained it, washed it again and then I soaked it overnight. So what I did today was I drained off the water I soaked it in and then I boiled this for about 30 minutes. Now after I boil it, I just check it out, see you know how salty it is because you're trying to get rid of the excess salt but you want to leave some for flavor, okay? You don't have to cook the pork completely because you're going to cook it with the peas. So I drain off that water after boiling it, right? And I add some fresh water because that water would be salty, right? Now I'm going to be adding some red peas. It's kidney beans. We call it red peas in Jamaica. Now we're going to be cooking these two together. So the pork is going to get the flavor from the peas and the color. And then that peas is going to soak up the flavor from the meat. I'm adding some allspice berries and garlic. If you want to leave the garlic cloves whole, that's fine too. I will be adding some pumpkin and a little bit of carrot at this point. This is just going to help to add a body and flavor to the soup. I'm not using a lot like I would for my chicken soup because I don't need that orange color. So just a little and then we're going to cook this until the peas is tender and the pork is cooked. If you need to add any water, just add more water. Okay, because it's going to reduce while the cooking is going on. All right. If you want to skim off any froth that's on the top while you're cooking the peas and the pork, go ahead and do so. And then we do add ground provisions to our soups. You can add turnip and dasheen and you could even add some chocho if you want to. That's Christophine. But I'm not a huge fan of those things. I just love yellow yam and some sweet potato. Not the American sweet potato, um, the drier one that we have in Jamaica. Okay, so that's cut up and then this is dumpling dough. It's just water, flour, salt and cornmeal. I have a video on how I make this. Um, it's on the channel here. Whenever I'm doing stew peas or red pea soup, I like to add cornmeal. So there is a little bit of cornmeal in there. You just mix it together, knead it to get this dough. And then when it comes to the dumplings, we either do something like this that's called spinners or you can make a round dumpling. So it's, so it's super simple. You just rub it between your palms like that or you can do a round one. When it comes to the round dumpling, you can just fold it into itself or pinch it. There are many ways to do it. Just do what's, you know, easiest for you. Or you could check out my flour dumpling video. So at this point, the meat is cooked and the peas is cooked. You can add some more water if you want to. I'm making a small pot of soup today. So, you know, I'm fine working with this pot. But if you want to make more soup, then you can use a bigger pot. Go ahead and add the ground provision. Give that a stir. You want to make sure you keep stirring the soup, okay? And if you're using additional ground provisions, you'd add them here. And then I'm going to add the dumplings. Earlier I added pumpkin and carrot. This time I'm going to be adding more carrots because I wanted to have some, you know, solid pieces in there. So I add them, you know, last minute. So we've added that and now we need to go in with a little coconut milk. This is optional, but I enjoy adding even just a little bit. Not too much because you want to keep the color of the soup nice and rich. If you add too much coconut milk, then your soup might be really um, pale. And we don't want that. Some people like to keep it simple and natural. 
if you want to that's fine but if you're okay with adding the powdered seasoning then you can go in with a, um, a chicken or beef seasoning cube or a vegetable seasoning cube and i like to add the seasoning from those noodle packs those noodle soup packs the jamaican ones i do sift out the noodles though because i'm not a fan of the noodles at all okay so season it to taste be careful with salt because remember the pork is already salty right so always taste while you're cooking this of course i'm going to add some more allspice berries aka pimento seed and scotch bonnet and then some scallion and thyme fresh thyme please always use fresh thyme you're gonna give this one more taste see if you want to add black pepper nothing's wrong with adding black pepper to soup okay if you want to add anything at all go ahead and add it you can even add another scotch bonnet okay then cover this and let it simmer on a low heat for about 25 to 30 minutes after about 25 minutes i checked on the soup and then you know everything was looking good um i just felt like maybe just you know a few more minutes so i just covered it up and let it simmer again this is it guys delicious red pea soup good to go it smells good it tastes amazing and that sweet potato in there trust me it is so good because it has a little natural sweetness to it and some body to the soup as well now when it comes to soup in every household usually you know everybody wants their soup a different way some people like a lot of dumpling some want mostly the liquid who are you which soup lover are you do you want your bowl of soup to be like this where it's mostly the liquid you know i i think i like my pea soup more like this bowl mostly liquid yes there's lots of dumpling and meat and um some peas in there of course i am fine with that so this is how i love my bowl and i don't mind the ground provision but i don't need a lot and then you have the folks that are gonna tell you that listen put a lot of peas in my bowl <laughs> so what type of soup lover are you do you like you know that um bowl with lots of peas in there or mostly the liquid let me know in the comment section. I'll see you guys next time. <music>